Shuffling away the opponent's entire hand might be the most toxic thing I've ever done. Game one. All right, so what are we starting with? Some wind-up cards, emergency teleport, and a called by the grave for protection. We do need at least one more card for the combo, but this is more than enough to get us started. First, let's activate Wind-Up Factory. This spell searches a monster for us when, uh, sorry, if we activate a Wind-Up Monster's effect. Next, we can summon a level 3 Psychic Monster with Emergency Teleport and Normal Summon our Wind-Up Rabbit. Since we have two level 3s, we can overlay for Wind-Up Carrier Zen Mighty. Maybe it's Zen Matey? Yahar! At any rate, this card is busted. If you aren't familiar with the wind-up archetype, none of their cards have the hard once per turn restriction. So if we can keep summoning, we can keep activating their effects. Zen Mighty is probably the strongest wind-up monster because it can special summon a wind-up monster from our deck. And without a hard once per turn, you could probably guess how that would get out of hand. Actually, I'll just show you. I guess that's kind of the point. Detach the rabbit and activate our wind-up carrier to summon a wind-up rat in attack mode. And we might as well search a wind-up shark while we're at it. He can summon himself when we summon another wind-up monster, as well as adjust his level to make it easier for us to exceed summon. Now we can use wind-up rat's effect to summon back the rabbit, and summon the shark too, and then go for wind-up carrier again. And again. Zen Mighty is actually still banned in the TCG to this day, but with Master Duel's more uh, lax ban list, we can abuse all three copies. Use the last carrier's effect to summon a wind-up magician. This little spellcaster special summons a friend whenever we activate the ability of another wind-up monster. Now that we've finished looping our carriers, we can use two of them to link summon wind-up Zen Maintenance. When summoned, we can add a wind-up card from our deck to our hand. And that will also trigger our Magician to summon a wind-up bat in defense position. But we actually need that bat to be in attack mode, so let's use our Link Monster's second ability to swap it for another one in our deck. Wind-up bat can switch itself into defense to recycle a wind-up monster from our graveyard. So let's pick up our wind-up rat once again. With all of our setup complete, we can use four materials to summon Saryuja, Skull Dread. He's known for playing a part in pretty degenerate combos, and, uh, yeah, this one's gonna get pretty toxic. We're still missing our last combo piece, so use Saryuja to draw some cards, and there it is. Back to the front will let us summon a monster from our graveyard. It might not seem like much, but it is vital if we want our evil scheme to work out. Shuffle back three cards, and now we can use Saryuja again to special summon the rat we recycled alongside the second shark. Man, crazy how hard ones per turns were a lesson Konami learned way back with Elemental Hero Stratos, and then 10 years later just decided, Hear me out. What if... We didn't. We can activate the rat for the fourth time now? I'm honestly not sure. But we can bring back a level 3 windup and use them to link summon for Cherubini, Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. We can activate Cherubini to send a fiendish rhinoceros to the graveyard, who in turn can send another fiend along for the ride. But we'll keep him a secret for now. Some of you probably already know what's going on here, but let's leave it a mystery for those who don't. We can adjust the levels of our sharks to exceed summon artifact Durendal. He's the boss monster of the artifact series, but we'll explain his effect in a minute. Nothing left to do now but set a couple cards and pass turn. Your go, opponent. Nothing villainous going on over here. Oh, but during your standby phase, we do have, you know, one little thing we'd like to do. Activate Durendal's second effect to shuffle both players' hands back into the deck and redraw the same number of cards. Normally, that's a pretty harmless effect, but we're also going to chain back to the front to revive Protector of the Sanctuary. This monster prevents our opponent from drawing cards outside of the draw phase. Since we waited until the standby phase to execute our plan, well, just watch. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Nothing for you! I'm sorry, opponent, you can shuffle your hand back, but drawing outside the draw phase? Afraid we're gonna have to confiscate those cards. And there's the disconnect. I guess you could say they wound up in some trouble. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh. No. If your opponent doesn't scoop to this combo, you actually have enough damage on board to win the game. 
You just need to use Cherubini's Foolish Burial effect to raise its attack, which is probably the only time that effect has ever been used for the attack increase. Game 2. This is a pretty good opening hand, so we should definitely have the combo, assuming I don't make any mistakes. So let's zoom through the first portion. There's our Link Monster, so we'll grab another Factory and summon a Wind-Up Bat. Use Zen Maintenance to summon another Bat in Attack Mode, activate the Factory and the Bat, bring back a Wind-Up Rat, and search another Rat. Okay, there's the mistake. We used all three Sharks already, so we should have grabbed a Shark from the Grave and a Rat from our deck. Now we're down a monster for the combo. Well, we can still draw cards with Saryuja, uh, no luck yet. Well, bring out the rat, summon another shark, and overlay for Durendal. It does have two Xyz materials, so we'll save a trap trick for later and we can use its ability to redraw and hopefully... Well, we can special summon Psychic Tracker, but we drew into our Protector of the Sanctuary. So there's no point going into Cherubini. But wait, can we still manage the combo? Summon Tracker and Link Summon for Nightmare Unicorn. We can use its effect to discard Protector to the Graveyard and... Impermanence? Uh, thank you, I guess? Now we don't have to shuffle a factory back, but more importantly, they don't have that Imperm to stop our combo. At the start of their turn, we can use Trap Trick to set it back to the front, and it looks like we're up against Charmers. They managed to set a spell card, but I don't think that's going to matter since we can shuffle the rest of their hand back into the deck, and... No surrender. Well, don't mind if I do, opponent. An important note for the Durendal Protector combo, there is a ruling around Protector of the Sanctuary. If it is already on your board, you aren't allowed to use effects like Durendal's since it wouldn't technically resolve properly or something? I don't know, some Yu-Gi-Oh rules sound made up to me. However, if you set up a situation where you can chain Summoning Protector to one of those effects, then you can still rob your opponent of their entire hand. And we managed to handlock our opponents in almost 30% of our games. Windups are just good, I guess? They are easily interrupted with common cards like Ash and Imperm, but if they're allowed to go off, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Now this combo is technically a 4 card combo, which sounds bad, but it's a generous 4 card combo since you can get it started with just 2 cards and then draw into the rest with Saryuja or Artifact Durendal. And if you get unlucky and can't find all the cards you need, you can still pivot into Appaloosa, Avermax, or Access Code. Well, I think you guys get the format of these videos by now, so let's jump right into Game 3. Alright, let's get started by activating the Factory and playing Emergency Teleport to... Maxi. Annoying, but I guess it'll be a better clip if the combo works, right? So, let's get a counter going for how many cards they have in hand. Now we can summon Remy and go for our Carrier Chain. We can use the last Carrier to summon a Wind-Up Magician, and that is quite a few cards, opponent. Go for Zen Maintenance, Saryuja, and it looks like we did draw into the combo, so summon a few more monsters, and they finally drew into interaction. So they activate Herald of the Orange Light right away, and it looks like we're up against Ishizu Tier. Great. Well, we are definitely all in at this point. Let's see what they do. Mill, summon, summon, mill, fuse, Winda. Sure, seems like fair Yu-Gi-Oh to me. Then again, maybe I shouldn't be talking when I'm playing this deck. If you're unfamiliar with Winda, she prevents players from special summoning more than once while she is on the field. So, we only have one more summon to work with before having to end our turn. That means no Cherubini combo to send our Protector. Wait a second, they milled us for 10 cards. Let's take a closer look at the footage. Right there! Wait, wait! Right there! Protector is already in our graveyard? Oh man, I hope this works. Let's adjust some levels, summon Durendal, and set back to the front. Your turn, opponent. And? Oh no, I forgot they always have the answer. They activate Mudora to shuffle cards from the graveyard back into the deck. When they inevitably get rid of our Protector, we are as good as... What? They didn't shuffle him away! Is he wearing Octo Camo? 
Oh, <laughs> you are going to regret that one, opponent. Activate Durendal and chain back to the front. <laughs> oh, how's that Maxi treating you now, opponent? Their last-ditch effort is summoning Dark the Dark Charmer to try to summon a dark monster from our graveyard. But funnily enough, we don't have any dark monsters in our graveyard. When they realize they can't summon anymore, they scoop it up. Oh man, if I had a nickel for every time I shuffled away 30 cards off of a max C. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Well, that seems like a good one to end on. Don't forget to like the video if you made it this far, and subscribe if you want to see more silly strats. Maybe check out the last episode where we ignored our opponent's crazy boards and won with only direct attacks. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.